Hello everybody. Uh, this is another recall, but this is for our friends in Europe. Um, it's from Food Safety News or FSN. So if you can't see the, um, the link in the description box, you would just type in www.foodsafetynews.com slash 2020 slash 09 slash multi dash country dash recalls dash do dash two dash ethylene dash oxide all right so the title if you hadn't figured it out multi-country recalls due to ethylene oxide in the sesame seeds oh for heaven's sakes recalled sobri products s-o-u-b-r-y products they're showing sobri is the brand name Donker bread, that sounds German. All in mix Donker bread. And I can't read the middle one, it's too light. All right, let's see what it says. By News Desk on September 30th. The presence of an unauthorized substance in sesame seeds from India has prompted a spate of product recalls across Europe. The ethylene oxide alert was first raised by Belgium in early September, but now concerns almost 20 countries. Ethylene oxide is a genotoxic carcinogen after regular consumption. So I guess if you like donker bread, is that what I called it? Donker bread? I can't read the middle one. Okay, uh, and you ate that quite a bit, it could harm you. Um... That's kind of like saying, well, it's just what comes to mind. If you consume these artificial sweeteners regularly and too much of it, it could cause a problem like cancer or, um, let's see, the blue one can cause uh, memory loss. I mean, like years of taking too much. That's what happened to my last mother-in-law. Okay, mother-in-law number three. Yeah, I have to number them. Okay, ethylene oxide is genotoxic. Is a genotoxic carcinogen after regular consumption. Sesame seeds were used in the production of flour and recalled products include bread and bagels. Several supermarket chains in Belgium have recalled products from shelves because of the high content of residues in the sesame seeds in them. So... The supermarket chains in Belgium. Okay. It goes on to say seeds used in a variety of products. Now they're listing countries here. And I know somebody in one of them. And another one. Okay. Austria. Czech Republic. Finland. France, Germany, Ireland, 
Italy, Latvia, Luxembourg, Malta, Netherlands, Norway, Poland, Russia, Slovakia, Slovenia, Spain, Sweden, and Switzerland. Swi well, it just says Switzer. I'm sure they mean Switzerland. Are all listed as being affected. So seeds used in a variety of products that are sold in all those countries are all listed as being affected. And here they're showing bagels. Who doesn't like a good bagel? In Belgium, Sobri, okay, I might butcher these names, Soezi, S-O-E-Z-I-E. -E. Sozi. Colroot. C-O-L-R-U-Y-T. What is this foreign language here? Albert. Hein. Albert Hein. H-E-I-J-N. Del Hayes. Focaccia. Oh, that's food. Focaccia. I ate some of that once. BV. It's got a capital BV after it. La Lorraine Bakery Group. Apostrophe T. B A K H U I S J E. Okay, I'm not even trying that one. Alter near Smolan, an Avevi, Aviv, A V E V E, A V E V E, have issued recalls. In France, Aucan, A U C H A N, recalled some bagels, as did Al Dente G. M B capital H in Germany. Authorities told people who had the products not to consume them and to return them to the point of sale for a refund. The use of ethylene oxide as a component of plant protection products is prohibited under EU regulation, but its use as part of biocidal products is authorized for certain items. Yeah, it's used, if I am not mistaken, as a sterilizer. Ethylene oxide. Let me look that up. When I worked in Central Sterile, I was at the job where I got sick. They pulled me out of OR said I couldn't work in OR because my hand was shaking and I went into a blank stare like this, you know. They came and pulled me out of there and was walking me up the hall and next thing I know, I'm in the administrator's office. A nun, she was the, the Catholic still owned holy name of Jesus Hospital. And they put me in Central Sterile to learn to be supervisor. Well, that was all cool and everything, but, um, okay, I'm looking up ethylene oxide. Ethylene oxide. Somebody that I had ordered something from, they ended up firing me. And I said, oh, no, your reason is wrong. I am being a good supervisor. I've made this change and that change and stopped the OR or told them twice now to stop sending their dirty needle, their dirty scalpels down with blades in them. You're going to cut my people. Now I was being a good supervisor by doing that and I did other things. So they said, well, uh, 
you you've had entirely too many abs absences. Oh, so when I was in the hospital, I was that's counting it. Well, there was that other day that you took off. Oh, you mean last Friday when Sister Jean told me to take off? Well, I had boldness that day, I'm telling you. Anyway, they said, well, we won't, we won't fight your unemployment if you can't find a job. I thought so. Stick up for yourselves, people. Learn to stick. It's not wrong. It is not wrong. All right, it says... Well, it's not saying what it's for. Ethylene oxide is produced in large volumes and is primarily used as an intermediate in the production of several industrial chemicals. The most notable, I had to click on it. Oh, I should have clicked on, let me go back and click on Wikipedia. It'll be shorter. Oh, I thought so. Uh, I mean, I thought it would be. I just want to know if it is. Oh, this is way too, too, uh, a faint, sweet, and musky odor when pure. It is the simplest alkene with hydrocarbon. Anyway, that's all way over my head. I thought it would just say, is used as a sterilizer. <laughs> my bad. Okay, um... You can finish reading this for yourself. If you live in these countries and you eat any of these products, return them to the stores where you bought them and don't eat them. Okay, so, all right. With that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.